Y'all, it's your boy Skookum. Hey, I got some landowner permission to come down into this wetland area and uh, trap trap some stuff, uh, which is pretty cool. But I got a friend here, and he's a little lost. Are you lost, dude? I think the river's way over that way a couple miles. What are you doing? Oh, beautiful animal. You can't really see the red like I can. It's pretty beautiful. Whoa, ho, 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 there, guy. I don't think I can explain to you guys the feeling of this. You already scapped me. I don't know if you're going to fall down into this nasty this just scouting around looking for sign i didn't want to drag all my traps through here without knowing where i was going to set at birds flying around this is actually pretty beautiful it's got salmon what a weird day the thing about trapping back here is as soon as i get something i'm gonna have to drag him out all the way back over there Hey, stuff like that. <sighs> All right, boys, so I'm out here. I mean, there's sign of animals, nutria, muskrat, but I've got my sights set on something bigger. I can come back for these guys uh, when everything else is closed. So I think I'm gonna focus on the river. Um, it was pretty sweet. I got landowner permission and stuff to, to be in here, but it just ain't for me this time of year. So I'm gonna check out one more wetland, see if it's more promising. Um, but if not, we'll be headed to the river. All right, boys, so I found a pretty good uh, run up here. And there's also one over there and they're crossing the road up above. But uh, I just put a caster mound in there. Got my guy right there in a drowning line out. I'm trying to do this quick because we got to get out of here. But uh, yeah, hopefully this will work. I got some natural beaver caster in there. Uh, this should put a hurting on them. Let's see. Oh yeah, boys. Looks like the trigger's been set. Let's see what we got in here. Big fur, big fur, big fur. Oh yeah, got him. Mr. Mole, dude. Tell all your friends, dude. Tell all your friends. Got him on that good gopher hawk. That thing has done wonders. Yeah, look at this weird animal. All right, at first glance, my trap is gone. But then when I walked down here, I saw a beaver slap his tail and take off. I really hope everything went okay with my line. Let's see. All right. Moment of truth, hitting those beaver prints right here. Look at, I got him by one toe, one toe. Beaver down. Now I gotta figure out what the hell is going on here. That means I set one trap in this area and let it sit one night. That's why setting on sign is so important. I saw his buddy over there, so that's why we're going to set again. Got 
this big one. First night, only set. We're batting, we're batting 100,000, whatever it is. Hey, it's early, I haven't showered, I haven't brushed my teeth, but guess what? Beaver, it's what's for dinner. All right, boys, so now we're gonna clean him, skin him, and then clean the meat. As in, get it off the bones, pick out our pieces. I'm gonna go for uh, some leg meat, some back strap, and uh, yeah, do like I do with all the other animals and uh, get the skull and yeah, and the fur and tan it up. I had the fur brush in my hand and these little wires got under my fingernail. I've had my hand trapped in traps. I've broken my bones. And there's something about something jamming right under your fingernail that just feels so good. Anyway, uh, let's get to the time lapse. Got him skinned, now we're gonna pull out the caster, take off the head, and get uh, the meat we're gonna eat. Had it soaking for a little bit in some salt water and some ice to kind of pull some of the blood out to uh, get rid of some of the game flavor, and now we're gonna take it out. All right, boys, before we get started, remember the golden rule. Always ask your wife, hey babe, can I use your Instapot to cook beaver? Are you gonna wash it? Yeah. Go for it. Remember, always leave it better than you got it. All right, boys, so I got back strap, some of the back meat here. And then these are some of the um, front shoulder. I didn't take all of uh, the beaver due to some gland issues. So I got meat that's free of that. And you want to be... Um, aware not to cut any glands and get that stuff on the meat it'll make it taste bad so hopefully i got it all real quick we're gonna do some celery but i learned this pretty cool trick from a professional i call my wife if you break this and peel that oh yeah dude that's chef quality right there all right and add some tequila just kidding. This is extra virgin olive oil. And remember guys, I don't measure anything. So just get a good healthy bit in here. Coat the bottom. Next, some minced garlic. Normally I hand mince it like the professional I am, but ain't nobody got time for that today. So we're gonna saute. Get the aromas of the garlic really going and really capture and lock in the good beaver juices. Also, we'll get these onions going too in the saute. Really accentuate the flavors. Now that she's singing to us, sizzling around, we'll sear some of this meat. And I'm gonna add in some of my, my good buddy Johnny and his seasoning salt. <laughs> Looking pretty good. Okay, nice and seared here. Gonna get that side going. And then we'll add the juices. Now that he's good and seared, I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple cups of water. I've seen guys add like uh, broth or bouillon. Um, I'm not gonna rob the beaver of his glory. Uh, I'm not gonna put that in there because I wanna taste what it actually tastes like. 
Now to add the fixins, some potatoes. Potatoes and carrots. And celery. Secret weapon. I've heard uh, nothing but good things about apple and beaver, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw some slices of apple. <laughs> All right, now that we got all the stuff in, I'm gonna lock her in. Pressure cook. I only have probably a pound of meat in there, so I was thinking 20 minutes. It smells good, I'm not gonna lie. Dun it. Dun it. Okay. Okay, I see you. First things first, we need to check the temperature. Oh yeah, we're good. Let's cut into this bad boy. Oh gosh. What? It's like rough. I can guarantee it's chewy. I mean, moment of truth. I mean, it's chewy. I put no bouillon, no broth, and this tastes just like roast beef. Like, just like roast beef. It's a little more chewy, but as far as taste, Let me try it. it is just like beef. So the back strap tastes just like beef. Here's some of the leg meat. I'm serious. Tastes just like roast. When you hear it I'm taste, sure I understand. Siri doesn't understand. <laughs> and I don't think you understand either, but this tastes just like beef. It's unreal. So my conclusion, I'll take a bowl of it. <laughs> 